What's the mindset of these mammoth corporations who are now apparently in partnership with government? Eric Schmidt is Google's CEO. People are treating Google like their most trusted friend. Should they be? If you have something that you don't want anyone to know, maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Google has already been caught and fined for systematically hacking and harvesting passwords from millions of private Wi-Fi networks with its mapping cars and illegally siphoning private data from iPhone users. We don't need you to type at all because we know where you are with your permission. We know where you've been with your permission. We can more or less guess what you're thinking about. So Schmidt simply views the invasion of privacy as a way to allow the internet giant to gain more information about you. And then that data will let the search engine help you in your everyday life. Don't you get it? Google is trying to amass a huge amount of personal information about you to help you. Duh. <laughs> there's, there's what I call the creepy line and the, the Google policy about a lot of these things is to get right up to the creepy line but not cross it. I would argue that implanting things in your brain is, a, is beyond the creepy line. Mine in particular. Uh, yes, yes. Um, at least for the moment, uh, until the technology gets better. Uh, let's talk a little bit about information and search. Wait a minute, what was that? I would argue that implanting things in your brain is, a, is beyond the creepy line. Mine in uh, At least for the moment, uh, until the technology gets better. Is he saying that Google's creepy line is defined only by the current level of technology? What does a higher level of technology have to do with morals or ethics? But what I learned in Silicon Valley was there is no moral component to technology unless humans insist that it be there. 